do that. Um, yep. um, I call the <laughs> Honourable Tracy Martin. Uh, thank you, Mr Chair. Just a quick call on behalf of New Zealand First. Um, long time coming. Uh, great to see it here. Great to see that is this government moving it forward very quickly. Um, uh, to acknowledge the Speaker who just resumed his seat, uh, it was in 2015 that an amendment was originally put forward by the previous administration. That is true. Um, unfortunately, it didn't do what was promised uh, to the Cook Island, Nui and Tokelauan community, uh, which was the five years over 50. Um, one of the reasons why this is so important is because, obviously, um, as well as being proud uh, Cook Islanders, Rarotongans, uh, Nuaeans or Tokelauans, um, the, the, the people from these islands are New Zealanders. So um, it seemed an anomaly that they, uh, that they couldn't access their superannuation and be able to um, have their superannuation that they were entitled to under the, the rules and regulations and be able to also take their skills and their superannuation and go to the islands. And in a way, this is part of the way that New Zealand supports um, the, the realm nations. It's the way that we, um, we have worked with their government to, uh, to ensure that we are able to encourage um, not just Cook Islanders, Nuaeans and Tokelauans to go home, to take their skills home, to build their communities, to actually create a level of skill there, but also to, to allow New Zealanders, any New Zealander, to, um, to go there and to participate and start to build what is the fabric of the cultures on the, on the islands. Um, and it, it's, just that, it's just an extension of the greater relationship that, um, that we have with our realm nations. So I just really want to acknowledge the Minister and the Chair, the speed with which um, she has been able to address what is an anomaly in the 2015 uh, legislation that went through. I was in the House at that time. I remember him listening to that piece of legislation going through, thinking this is actually not what was the conversation between the Government of New Zealand and the Government of our, um, our colleagues in the realm nations. Um, and so it's really nice to be part of a government that is putting this right, that is making sure that we um, honour what was the commitment that was originally made. Um, I know that the Minister of Foreign Affairs has been a, an advocate for this. I know the Prime Minister has been an advocate for this. I know that they want to do and, and provide, through this piece of legislation, what was originally agreed between the New Zealand government and the governments of the realm nations. So again, just a very quick call on my part to acknowledge the Minister and the Chair, to acknowledge the Government. We want to move this forward because this is something to the benefit of our friends in the islands and also to the New Zealanders that, um, that will make the islands home and take their skills there to help, as I say, build what is the capacity of those communities to deal with the issues that are coming. Kia ora. Uh, point of order. Uh, point of order, the Honourable Ruth Dyson. Uh, I seek leave for the remainder of the Social Assistance Residency Qualification Legislation Bill to be debated as one. Um, leave has been sought for that purpose. Is there any objection? Appears to be not. Uh, uh, therefore, uh, the question is that parts one and two, schedules one and two, and clauses one and two stand part. Um, I call the Honourable Louise Upston. Uh, thank you, Mr Chair. Um, I'm